This video is going to show you how to create um, a virtual reality gallery using the CoSpaces.io website. Um, you need to create an account. Uh, use, I've used my, um, my school email address. And once you've created your account, you'll come to uh, the dashboard. Any um, projects you've got going at the moment are, are displayed here. And if you want to create a new one, which we're going to do now, we're just going to choose Create Project. And you are now given your virtual space, so your virtual stage. And the first thing I think we should do is create our environment. So using the cog at the bottom, I can choose one of the preset environments that they've got. I think I'm going to choose that one. You can change the mood, the lighting, if you like. And you can change the size of the stage down here as well. As, uh, this here allows you to add an image to the bottom of your stage, depending on what shape and size it is. And you can add some um, music in here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some, uh, some glass walls to mount um, my, uh, the images for my gallery off. So I'm going to choose the cube down here. The third one along, I can create um, some glass walls. I'm going to click on it once, or you can drag it. And let's just create some walls up here. I'm going to make them quite high. Let's have a look. There we go. So if I double click, there are a number of options down here. I can change the color, which I'm going to actually just change to black. You can change the rotation, the scale, the elevation, and the size, um, and there's movement here. I'm going to then duplicate this rather than just creating another one again. And here is my duplicate. So it's attached to my mouse at the moment, but if I click, I can now have full control. I'm just going to try and line this up as best as I can if I zoom out with this wall here. There may be another way to do it, this is the way I do it. So we've got that. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to duplicate this again. There we go. And if I just move around, I can rotate um, the, the environment with my with the left mouse button, or I can zoom in and out with the with the roller on my mouse. Let's have a look how that looks. Let's zoom out. So as you can see, it's a bit crooked. So I want to make sure that that is all nice and straight. And just for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to spend ages doing it, but that looks all right, I think. So let's zoom in. If you choose, uh, keep your finger on the Alt key, and then use the um, the, the mouse um, uh, thing on the mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out. So I am now going to add some images to that. Now I've got some images that I have um, exported from Photoshop as um, JPEGs and I've got them on my desktop. It could be in your uh, your, desk, your your documents. And down here I'm going to choose the cube and the photos and you can drag and drop them uh, the images into here. I'm actually going to drag them straight into the stage. So there we go. And then I can change the size of this image using the these arrows here. Right, let's not make it too big. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with how this is mounted here. Uh, it could be a bit, 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 little bit closer. But what I don't want to do is get it to go behind the glass like that. So let's try and line this up. I don't want to spend too much time doing it for this video. So there is the first one. I'm going to get my second one down here, drag it onto the, into my project, resize it, and use these arrows just to make sure it's not hidden behind the glass. So let's have a look. That doesn't look too bad. This probably isn't exactly the right, the same size. So I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. 
Great, that'll do nicely. So, third image. Oh, I've grabbed the wall there by mistake. Let's move that a little bit further back. There it is. Make it a bit bigger. Again, just following the same technique as we've done before. And you can be a little bit more careful if you want um, to see how close it is to the wall. But I want to do this nice and quickly. So essentially, this is just showing how my Jay-Z album cover has changed over a period of time. Right, now the very final one, which is here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Line it up. You want it to be parallel, basically, to the wall. Um, and you know what? That's not too bad. So let's put that into the middle. Get my wall back into place. Right, and with the camera, I've made that one slightly bigger because it's the final image. I'm just going to rearrange the camera to a point that I'm happy with. So this is the view that the um, the user will see when they're looking at it in um, the VR mode. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, as I say, you can spend a little bit more time, but I'm happy. Great. Okay, so I can click the home button here. And this is a project I've just created. Click project, give it a name. So the next thing to do is have a look at what that looks like in an iPad and on a smartphone using uh, Google, Google Cardboard. Co-Spaces have their own iPad app, which you can download for free from the App Store. Open the app, uh, log in with your credentials, and you will um, see the projects you have created within the app. So the one we just created is called Jay-Z, so I'm just gonna open it. And with my hand, my finger, I can, I can look around the, the virtual space. Now the buttons on the bottom right um, are to do um, with viewing it um, kind of as virtual reality. The first one I'm going to click allows me to pick up my iPad uh, and move it around. So if I don't have um, Google Cardboard for instance I can just pick it up and view it like this. Um, I can touch the screen and it will zoom in. So you can have a really good look at what you have created. And it's a great way of showcasing some work. So that's pretty good. Um, the optimum way of doing it is, is of course using um, some virtual reality goggles. Um, and I've got uh, some Google Cardboards. So I'm just going to give you a quick look um, at what it looks like um, with Google Cardboard. For the best experience, you want to um, view your gallery uh, using a virtual reality headset um, like uh, Google Cardboard. Now the one I've got cost 15 quid uh, from the Google Play Store. Absolute bargain and it's uh, it's really really good. So what you do is you place your you get your Google Cardboard and the icon on the bottom right on your smartphone puts it into VR mode. Now obviously I can't really show you how awesome it looks um, from this capture on my iPhone. But when, obviously when you put it into your Google Cardboard, it aligns the images up um, and it genuinely does feel like you're in a, in a, in a different place. Um, and it's a really, really powerful way of, of, of showcasing, showcasing your work. 
uh, and it looks great and it's a really good, uh, cheap, easy to produce way to create virtual reality content.